don't wear a mask when I'm talking. No, you'll take, you can take Correct. your mask off, but we'll keep ours on. No. Okay. okay. Oh, I heard a lot of
experimenté. Bueno.
evening, everyone. This is Lori Kerpiers at the PRCA, Prairie Renaissance Cultural Alliance in Morris, Minnesota. And we are excited tonight for our new exhibition. We have Faith Mills from Glenwood, Minnesota here. And she is sharing her exhibit called Reflections with us. She is um, a connoisseur of painting, nature, and lots of paintings of her travels to places like Italy and Mexico. Um, and she also is very focused on her family and you'll see some of those um, paintings in this exhibit as well. So let me introduce you to Faith Mills. Hi, um, I'm excited to be here tonight and I'm going to talk about some of my um, paintings and how I was inspired by them. Um, the first one, when we, we have a place in Tiacpan, Mexico, about 80 miles south of Mazatlan. And it's a little fishing village. And this right outside of Tiacpan, there is a place where fishermen bring their fish to be cleaned and sold. And <clears throat> one day we rode our bikes out here and <clears throat> the guy was um, cleaning the fish. I actually went out there this year to give him a print of this. And he usually is the one cleaning, but there's usually more than one cat. But um, this time there was, they clean up whatever they throw at them or whatever, I guess. Anyway, so that is called La Brecha Fish Camp. And in that same town, right out in Tiagpan, when I go walking in the mornings, um, I get a lot of pictures of people, of fishermen, uh, what they've caught for the day, um, even like the wildlife or whatever that's out. But that this morning, um, these ladies were all sitting in the sun reading which I thought was so cool. I mean, I see them around town, but to see them in their own environment was kind of fun to see. And somebody asked me if she had a mask on, but it, it is, she's just in the shadows, but it would kind of be a telling thing about our times right now. Um, this is a peony that we have in our, um, by our house and I love peonies and I like to get close up on them. So um, I did this one. I like close ups for a lot of things, but, and this is Door County. Um, I was there with some friends and there's a park. It's in Fish Creek, Wisconsin. Um, and they have a park called Sunset Park where people all gather to watch the sunset and it's absolutely beautiful. And it's funny because everybody kind of sits quietly watching. Some bring their wine or whatever. Anyway, these were my girlfriends walking to the Sunset Park and I like the sun long shadows. I work mostly from photos uh, that I've taken and so that was one of them I took and I like the long shadows. So I did that painting. This is my niece, Anna, and this is quite a while ago uh, in 97. And uh, she has the most gorgeous eyes. I did a pencil drawing of her too, um, but um, she now has a daughter uh, that just turned one years old and she looks just like her. So I just did a pencil drawing of her daughter. Um, this is my son when he played little guy football and he was probably the littlest guy. And th this is Ryan right on the end. Um, and I just like the light on the uh, helmets and everything. So and I did that picture when I was in art school. And this one is right down from our house in Glenwood on the frozen lake, but there was open water by there. 
and this always is kind of a sign that springs right around the corner when the geese show up. So, and, and this is from my kayak. I um, take my camera out and uh, take pictures. And this morning, I usually only go out when it's pretty still. But uh, this morning, the reflections were just incredible of this one house that has uh, major steps coming down to the lake. So um, I took a picture of it and then painted from that picture. So, um, okay, this, this is my uh, grand dog. Um, his mother, Alice, in the background, uh, was 13 years old. We had no idea she was pregnant. And I went to have her groomed and there was this, I thought it was a rabbit in there. And it was a little puppy. And they said, you better... Um, but it was just one bird. And this is a picture of Alice with Vern when he was really little. And these are both of their um, tags. They both are tags. And this is the cover. pictures of and um, and he was more than willing to let him do it. I think he liked being the center of attention. And this is in Mexico. There are a lot of herons around and I had to look them up to see what kind they were. This is a blue heron and they are absolutely stunning. Um, I took that picture this year and, um, and then probably days later, I took this picture and I had to look them up and it's a Western reef heron. Um, and they, a lot of times will sit in the boats um, the fishermen's boats probably waiting for them to throw out fish parts or whatever. And this is help from Chiakpan also. Um, and they float around when the fishermen are cleaning their fish. They will either throw fish out that, have, that aren't worth keeping because they net them. And so they'll throw them out. And I've got lots of pictures of them catching the fish in their gill. So um, I think that was, and that was the cover of the poster. So, and that they did, you guys did a beautiful job of the of displaying my artwork. Thank you. Thanks, Faith. So I have a question. I am wondering um, how you do your process of the book making. So okay. how do you, so I think you were telling me that someone was commissioning you to do some artwork and whatnot. So how do you determine which develops into a book and um, 
you know, other illustrations with that? Because you've illustrated several books. Yeah, yeah. I've illustrated 11 books. Okay. And the first book that I did um, was called, oh, it's um, The Happen Home for Glenwood State Bank. Of uh, their hundred year anniversary, so they commissioned um, Deb Mercier um, to write the story, and kind of with the bank in the story, it did you know didn't have to be a true story, so she kind of used true events and then made a story out of it. So. She was looking for an illustrator, and I happened to be on Minnesota Artists um, website, and she was she saw my artwork and thought that that looks like the kind of artwork more realistic. That's what um, instead of cartoony, anyway. And then she noticed we lived in a, a mile apart. <laughs> which we had never met before. Anyway, that was the first book that I illustrated. Actually, I, my mother wrote two books before she died, and I still haven't illustrated them. <laughs> we, I did so many illustrations, but we never really um, did it. And I don't know, it's kind of a mental block. <laughs> but... Um, so then, anyway, after uh, the captain's hat, then I did another book for her called uh, The Adventures of Molly and Skunky. And it was about her kids, um, beanie babies, beanie bears, mm -hmm. um, and what they did when they were in school. And then she, <laughs> and she had taken all these pictures and I said, you gotta make a book out of this. Or, you know, she had already made a book, but it was all photos. Sure. So, um, in order to do it with it, the drawings were um, better in way to do it. And then I did Miss and My Best Friend for Norma Knapp. Um, her grandson had lost his best friend and she thought that it needed to be a story for kids that have lost a friend, just understanding how you get over it. And, and so um, she had a family that would be my models. They were so awesome. And um, I, they had read the story before I got to their house. In two hours, I had all the photos taken. And um, I think I went back one time to take a picture of the grandpa because he wasn't there at mm -hmm. the time. But anyway, so I just, what I do is work in Photoshop. And if, um, I do a composition or try and figure out how I'm going to make it look. Sometimes I have to add a car or, or uh, kind of change things around a little bit to make it go with the story. So um, so that was, um, let's see, this is my best friend. Um, and, I'm trying to think of what the next one was. Uh, oh, I did Mr. Wigglebottom. That was a chapter book for Patsy Shannon, who lives in Morris. And that was a fun one. And it was about her chicken that was born with legs that weren't strong enough, which happens, I guess. She made a sling and it, he got stronger and lived to be a, he was still living when we did the book. So I took lots of pictures of her and my granddaughter was my model for the little girl in that book. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then I did the Vern book um, just because I, Deb had written the story for me. Um, and so I was able to do that and I got a grant for that to pay for part of the printing. And um, and then I did, um, I have to say, <laughs> what? Um, Are they all uh, <clears throat> the Mormonisms? I'm trying to think what, um, well, oh, Betsy, one tough truck for Joanne Biss. I did 
And, and that was probably the most animated I've ever gotten because I had to put eyes on the truck because it was, um, she um, had an old truck that they thought they didn't need, but when the other trucks didn't work, they had to use Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of a fun one. It was for her grandkids, but it ended up that it turned out to be. This is uh, Norman's puppies. Um, and it was, she wrote the downside of playing in the mud. <laughs> and Nellie, her dog, obviously did not like taking a bath or wanted to get out. Maybe didn't like Sharon, she didn't like Sharon. Um, I have a question, Faith. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you mostly paint from photographs. Yeah. Do you ever paint um, from live models or in plain air or are um, you ever tempted to? I only.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I um, usually that's what inspires me is when I take a picture and then I look through my pictures and I'm like, I really like the shadows. I like the reflections, something about the picture that really that needs to be recreated. And I really believe that painting it or drawing it brings out the best, it, it looks better, I think, than the photo. I mean, I always... Do you have a question for me? Oh yeah, there's a cat in there. <laughs> um, but um, those are my favorite questions. You know, if something, um, I don't do a lot of, um, um, I don't know, I mean, more people, animals or whatever. And I love Tiakpan. I mean, they're, I go down, we go there for two months, and for the two months, I just, I go every morning and I take so many pictures that I hope. when they come The new DQ Summer Blizzard Bunny will take him right into summer. Out of this world brownie bag. Iconic drumstick with peanuts. Plus his favorite. Got it. Are there any other places on your list to travel to, Faith? Once well, that I would really works. like to go to Greece. My grandpa was born in Greece and he came over when he was 11 years old. And you know, just for that, and it's supposed to be beautiful, but that's one place I would really like to go. But for now, going to Mexico, I, that's my dream place. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I think and that you shows. know, in Minnesota, or you know, I mean, there's so many beautiful spots here with all the lights and everything reflections and oh, I mean I I've taken pictures of um, um, I actually got um, a pelican on Lake Minnewaska with his reflections and when the lake is still oh, it's just yeah, it's just breathtaking So what's next for you, Faith? Do you have, um, I, I know you said you're working on the Good Boy Charlie book. Yep, yep. So I have one picture that I'm working on for that. And then I have two portraits 
that I'm going to start um, probably Sunday, Monday. Um, and I love doing portraits of kids. Mm -hmm. So, and lately I've been, I just did three pencil drawings of portraits. Actually more than that. I did one for my brother's 70th birthday and one for my, um, for my oldest sister and then for my second and my youngest sister I did one. So lately I've been doing a lot of pencil drawings, but <laughs> pencil drawings are so fun because you can be portable with them because all you need is a pencil and a paper and an eraser. And uh, so when I work here or you can do outside or whatever, you know, it's easy to carry around. Pastels, I have a lot of pastels <laughs> and I do bring them here, but it's a lot more work packing that all up. <laughs> right. Um, tell me a little bit about your process. Okay. So um, with pastels, okay. With well, pastels well, lately, I, I used to always use just pastel paper, but I use sanded pastel paper now because it grabs the pastel so much better. I mean, it, this, this drawing is on pastel paper. And I mean, it, it grabs and it's got tooth to it, but um, let's see, but the pelican is on sanded. And um, to me, it's more vivid on, on the sanded. So when you draw, and I, I, what I do is I draw a little bit, and usually I work from this way down so I don't rub, I, I put paper under my hand so I don't rub it or anything. But, um, and then I spray fixative now and then as I'm working on it so it sets it. I mean, you can still move it around, it's workable fixative. And um, I got desperate one time in Mexico because they, I didn't have any, and you can use hairspray. It's not as good, but you know, but it, that will work and it sets it. But these were on the sanded pastel paper too. And it just, I think is a lot more vivid in, in the, and those are my pastels are probably my favorite um, thing to work in. Um, that's a pastel. I mean, that's not the original, but it's a print of it. And that's a pastel. And this was on sanded paper too. So um, I do, Watercolors, I don't feel like I have mastered that at all. There are some people in this gallery that do amazing watercolors that I would love to be able to paint like them. But I do do watercolors, but I have a lot to learn on that. <laughs> <laughs> and acrylics, I like acrylics, those are acrylics.
trying to think what else I have. I, I mean, I think I've just got the pastels and acrylics. The pencil drawings are easy to shift. What about your daily practice, your studio practice, Faith? Do you get up early in the morning and get in the studio and start working right away? I dream or? about things once in a while. I'll dream like, um, oh, I should do that one picture. And also, I've started making card packs like this. Well, this one is all the same, but these are kind of go with the book and then there's a set of five and so I'll dream about that like that. That would be a great idea. <laughs> um, and then I make prints so um, it's a little more affordable if they don't want the, the original or or they want to frame it themselves. So, you know it seems like I feel like I don't want to waste time. I mean, not that I'm going to die tomorrow, but I want, I just want to, there's so much I want to do. So I keep thinking, okay, what's my next project? And I have a lot yeah, that I have ideas for. So, and a lot of them are pictures from Mexico. So, fun. Are there any more questions from the folks online? Okay. Anything that we didn't give you a chance to say, Faith, that you want to say? About I am your work? just so happy to be able to show my artwork and hopefully everybody um, can come in and see it. I know COVID, it's, it's hard to get out and everything, but it's going to be here till May 29th. So, um, and they're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday till six from 10 to six, and Saturday and Sunday, or Friday and Saturday, 10 to two. So please come in and, and see it in person. We have a comment. Oh. Faith has beautiful works and they love your use of love. I love the, your use of light. Oh, well, it, I, the lighting, I think, is what makes it exciting to paint. You know, when you see a picture in like the um, ladies reading, the lighting coming from there, it almost glows, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, Fun, it's really fun to paint those because I I put all my process pictures on Facebook under Faith Mills Art. And so if you ever want to see what I'm working on, it's usually in there. And I will, as I'm working on it, I'll take pictures. And so I don't ever show the picture that I'm painting because I want them to be surprised at the end. So... Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, even the lighting of the guy with his hands. And I don't know this almost looks like electrical tape, and I don't know, maybe it's something that they do with the fish cleaning fish. I don't know what that was all about, but I just paint what I see and I could probably go ask them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, Faith, thank you so much for yeah. having your exhibition with us, and we're we're thrilled to show your work. And you did my job for me. You and well, thank <laughs> you for asking. Really, I appreciate it. It was really fun, and you guys did a really great job of displaying it. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being a PRCA artist, Faith, and. Come on down and, and see it. You have until May 29th. And I love working here because there is such a variety of things for sale here that, for Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> There's the plug. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Maeve. Okay, thanks.